Hi, right, it's Cherry back with a new video. Um, let's get follow up on that Lionel 2026 I've been working on. Uh, I did get the E-Unit rebuild kit put in and a new one of those liquid smoke unit things. Now the E-Unit, it does cycle, it does function. It's about 50-50. There's still not so a few bugs in it I got to work out. And the smoke unit... I'm not sure, but I believe that maybe the new element might be burned out because it just doesn't seem to want to smoke. And if it does, it's not the quantity of smoke that I would have thought it would have had. But I did want to let you see that the locomotive is up and running. The headlight bulb, unfortunately, burned out before I could shoot this video. So I'll have to get a new one of them. So there won't be a headlight, but let's get this thing going here. And I also wanted to take time to show... A couple of cars that I don't haven't had on the way out in a while, and that's the Menards heli with the helicopter load. And this is a new one. It is a Lionel four-car auto loader. Uh, this is be its first time on the track since I got it. So let's see if we can get this thing to work. I'm going to turn it on. There's neutral. Yep. Okay, let's give it a little tap. As I said, there's still some bugs with this E unit. Okay, there we go. Forward. And it is running. Now, when I lock it in forward only, it runs really well. So. There we go, let it run around a few times. I don't know if it's going to start smoking or not. Try to zoom in here and see if we'll get to see any puffs of smoke coming out. And now. So now we're going to stop it. Turn around and stop it. Let's see if we can get this E unit to cycle. There's neutral. And there we go. It's going to go in reverse. Now stop it. Neutral. And okay. This time it's going to work for us. It's going to make a liar out of it. So there we go. The E and it is working um, with the rebuild. And then I found too that it seems the longer this, if it sits a few days, this locomotive, or a while and doesn't run, the locomotive uh, takes a while to get its running legs back, so to speak. So I just want to show you this. Um, I'll bring it around and we'll lock it in forward only for the purpose of what I want to do next. I'm going to try to put a little bit of smoke oil in here. And see what it does. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I've added the smoke oil. Let's see what she does. Like I said, I do not know if it's going to smoke or not. I think the element might be bad. Which isn't too bad. The other elements you can get like uh, a dozen of them for fourteen dollars on eBay, so they're not that hard to come by. Much easier to get than it is to actually you get fourteen smoke elements. Uh, uh, I can correct me, ten smoke elements for the price of one bottle of the old style smoke pellets. Like I said, now it does not look like it's going to smoke. Uh, it's not doing anything. So I'm going to check it out. Uh, but the main thing I'm happy with is the locomotive is running, which it was not doing before. So it is functioning. Uh, I've got it rebuilt. Gonna, as I have more time, I'll try to get it, all the bugs worked out. This will probably be the last video I do on this in a while because pretty soon we're going to be packing up the move and I don't know when I'll be running the trains again. Probably not until we get into the new place. 
this I just wanted to do this video let you see the Lionel 26 2026 is up and running um, yeah it is a running little move is it perfect no still got a few kinks in but it's a running locomotive and that's the important part so that's probably going to be all for now I'm going to sign off uh, thanks for watching Terry's OJH Trains and I look forward to doing some more videos in the future if you like please comment and subscribe uh, have a nice day and thank you for watching